Now, let's look at a, uh, a rather old school looking takedown from double underhooks. When you first look at it, it looks a little cheesy. And you think, would that really work in competition against a good guy? Um, I'm showing you this one because physically it's one of the easier ones for older or less athletic people to employ in a live situation. It doesn't require you to balance on one leg. It doesn't require any kind of flexibility. It, all it requires is that you take good body positioning and translate it into a situation where your opponent's shoulders get put behind his hips. So I find this one works well for older or less athletic uh, athletes. Um, perhaps people who are uh, kind of awkward in their movements and struggle to step around behind people or level change down, that kind of thing. So it can be very useful up to a certain level. Okay, starting with double underhooks. We're going to step center. In the previous move, strong body, in the previous move we stepped our right foot to our left and then came out into the calf to calf coaster. This time, very different. We're going to stand right side forward and step the right knee deep inside our training partner's center of gravity. So you go into a lunge. You lift and drop. From here, lift and drop. As he makes a strong resistant body, we're going to suck his hips in, just like so, and step forward. Off that step, our knee just comes down to the mat and we end up with a good takedown to the floor. Very simple and doesn't require any balancing on one leg, no exaggerated movements around the body, no looking where he has to land, none of that. So we start off with a lock. As he goes to resist, we put his shoulders behind his hips and we just step forward and we just drop down to a knee. A simple back bend from here, he tries to sag and we're hipping in so we can hold his weight easily. Now we give that lift, lock up on the lumbar region and pull the hips in. From here, we just step past as he makes a strong resistant body, we just step past. And as a result, we get a very simple but very effective takedown that requires almost zero athleticism. Now. Will this reliably work at championship level? Probably not. But not everyone you take down in daily training is a world champion. Sometimes you just need a low impact takedown that gives you the confidence to work with good body positioning, trap your opponent's hips, teaches good principles of controlling the lumbar region, getting your shoulders behind his hips, and giving you an economical takedown that takes no athleticism to put someone at beginner level safely down to the mat.